Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Myra. In today's video, I am going to be showing you my ColourPop lipsticks and lip liners collection. I actually did a lippy declutter about six months ago and unintentionally I forgot to include these in that video. <laughs> but about three months ago, I was using some of these lipsticks and I noticed that some of them were going bad. So I've been putting this video off just because they are quite a lot of lippies, but I do want to share what I have and I will be doing some swatches as well and how this declutter will go, whatever is bad or expired, <laughs> I am going to obviously declutter that. I won't swatch any of those because I know that some of these are already pretty bad and then if any of the shades are also in a, a similar shade i will also declutter some of those as well so let's go ahead and get started with the video so first of all i have this lippy sticks set and let me sh place this on top or inside and then i also have this um disney collection the designer collection and this are it right here and then I also have the lippy pencils also the big box which comes in a 40 set so I purchased these let me include them here I purchased all of these uh, I'm hitting close to two years with them I know I purchased them in a, a holiday set well these are all holiday sets I believe so these launched about two years ago in December so I'm, I'm hitting that two year mark with these and that's why many of these are already going bad not all of them but most of them are so I am going to start off with the ones that have the most so let me put these on this side so I'm going to start off with these and I don't know how many there are in here to be honest I know they still have other boxes or other sets but this is what i have and of course anything that i find online that is still available i will link that for you guys in the description box so just make to check that out in case you are interested in any of these lippies so i'm going to start off here with the this one called i'm sorry this one in the shade cookie and first i'm going to check if i don't see any fuzzies or any weird things going around the lippy And of course it doesn't, so I'm going to swatch it here. So that's a nice peach shade. And I'm just going to put it back if I'm going to keep it. I'm trying to figure out how to place this. <laughs> okay, then the next one is called At Twilight. And this one looks pretty good so far as well. So I'm going to swatch that next to it. This one's actually melting quite a bit. So uh, that's weird. Okay, I'm going to put this one off to the side because I'm not sure if that one's still good. The next one is called Parker. Yeah, that one was a little weird in texture. As you can tell, it's quite, quite glossy there. And these are supposed to be... Oh no, this one is a cream actually. I'm sorry, I thought they were all mattes, but no, they're not all mattes. <laughs> so I'm actually going to put this one back. And then the next shade is called Brink. Little Things. I'm going to swatch it here. So that one's very, a mauve shade. Cami. I'm sorry, I swatched little things twice, so I had to go back and take it off. So this is why there's a little bit of a stain there. But now this one is in the shade Songbird. Casanova. I heart this. Topanga, I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure, Shishi, Love Life, 
Oh, that one's pretty. Trust me. Bichet. Goldie. Ziggy. Thousand Perfect. Infinite Best. Gorgeous color. Cherry Bomb. Skywalking. Oh, that's a very pretty shade, too. Grungy. That one felt a little drain. Hilari, I think that's how you say it. Are you surreal? With the band? This one's actually one of my favorite lippies. Capiche? Who run this? Wow, that one's stunning. Runaway? Heart on? Girl gang? Daydream? Aquarius, that one seems very glossy, just like the second one up here at twilight. I'm not sure about those two, I think they might be expired. Westy, Lumiere, Dream Date. Now this one I won't swatch just because I did notice some fuzzies at the tip of the, the lippy. So I won't swatch this one because I do think it's expired. And as you can tell there's also like a, a different shade going on there. So that one's definitely expired. Candy paint. Now I will skip this space here just because of that shade that I didn't swatch and um, it's going to be easier for me to remember which ones I have swatched here in order. Date trip. Now this next one I'm also not going to swatch because it does have like a velvety look around the lippy stick and I don't think the camera is going to pick this up um, but there is some fuzzies around that tip. It's looking quite white and like a velvety texture. <laughs> so I'm not swatching this one and I will be decluttering this one. Now I have this under here because hopefully the camera will pick up what I want to show you. But this one's in the shade Slacker and I won't swatch this one either because it is also expired. And I can tell because there is like a fuzzy at the edge right here now i don't know if the camera is going to pick it up i don't think so but there is like a long long sort of i don't know like a a string like thing coming out of the side of the lipstick and that's why i know that this one's expired besides that difference in in shades as you can tell there's like a um some patches going on here so this is definitely telling me that it's also expired date trip and the same thing it has a velvety look on the very tip of the of the pencil i can't quite get that for you guys to show on camera my lighting is not good in here even though i have my ring light <laughs> but it's very cloudy outside and it's not it's not giving me a good contrast on my on my video here but yeah this one's also definitely expired Goodie bag. 
and this one's very very dry so I'm not keeping this one either if they are face down over here it's because those are the ones that I'm going to get rid of plus I have some over here that I forgot to do that with but all of these are the ones that I'm I'm getting rid of so far parachute Taurus I have eight more to go, so hopefully I can get them all in this hand. <laughs> fly fi Oh, snap. Happy thoughts. Poison. I like that color, but... It swatched a little dry, so let me try that again. It felt dry when I swatched. Yeah, it was probably just that top layer. Aftershock. That one was buttery smooth. Jam Sesh. Gold Digger. Byron Babe. Or Byron, I'm not sure how to use how you say it. I have to swatch it here because that's the last one and I have no more space. So the ones that are face down are the ones that I'm going to declutter. And obviously the ones that still show the name are the ones that I'm going to keep. So the ones that I'm going to keep just going through them really quickly are Cookie, Parker, Brink. Songbird, Topanga, Shishi, Love Life, Trust Me, Bichette, Goldie, Ziggy, Thousand Perfect, Infinite Best, Skywalking, With a Band, Who Run This, Runaway, Daydream, Taurus, Fly Fi, Happy Thoughts, Poison, Jam Sesh, and Byron Babe. So basically the ones that I'm decluttering are because some are obviously very expired. Um, others, I was questioning the the texture, the formula of the lippy. So for example, if it, like these two that were extremely glossy, I declare those because that was not the original formula, uh, if, I, if I don't recall incorrectly. And then also some of them were pretty much repeating shades and that's why I decluttered other ones. So now these have 48 lippies. Let me see how many I am going to keep. Wow, there are 24. So <laughs> um, I decluttered obviously half of them and I'm going to keep only half. I'm very happy about that decision right now. So now let me go ahead and clean my arm. Let me wash all of this off as best as I can. And then I'm going to continue with the ColourPop Lippy Pencils. Now these are 40 Lippy Pencils. And like I said, these were from a holiday edition or like a, a limited edition box. And I don't think this is available anymore. But I know they do have several sets in their, in their Lippy forms. So... If anything is similar to what I show here, I will link that below. I know they came out with two more sets as of today when I'm filming this. I just saw that on, on the Trend Mood page. So I'm going to go ahead and start swatching these. Now, I was going to do them on this arm, but I do have some stains still from those lippy sticks. So I'm going to swatch them on my right arm. However, I am a right-handed person so I don't know how the swatches will go but anyway we'll still give it our best shot here <laughs> these lippies they're not expired um not that I think of because I do use quite a lot and the ones on top are the ones that I'm going to be decluttering more easily because I don't really use a lot of these shades up here but this swatch is basically going to be based off of like how similar the shades are so if they are anything similar, I will obviously I will obviously just pick one. I don't need two in the similar shade. Little one. Another round. This one I use quite a lot. B 
BFF. Oh boy, these swatches are not going to be good. <laughs> that was being quite a challenge there, so I decided to swatch the arms on my left arm because I am right-handed and that was being very difficult for me. <laughs> but this is the shade Brink. So as you can tell, these shades look very similar, um, especially here in person. There's not much of a difference there, but I'm going to keep swatching just so that I can make sure which ones I'll be decluttering. Oh, sis. That one's definitely a keeper. That one's quite different. This shade, I don't know if it's called Curvy or Cur7. Just because there's some weird spacing between the R and the V. So um, I'll make sure to clear that up for you guys in the description box if I find it or if it's still available. But that's the shade right there. This next one is 951. If you are from that area, go ahead and leave this emoji in the comment section below. <laughs> or you could also give this video a thumbs up if you are from that area. Beeper. So these are all very similar shades. Like I said, these are all very nudes. And here in person, they swatch quite similar. I mean, except for this like warm shade that I immediately knew I was going to keep. But these so far swatch quite similar, a lot of these. Obby. BFF2. BFF3. That one's quite different as well. It's very unique. CTRL. Or I think that should also be control, right? That should be the abbreviation. So this one's obviously a very deep brown. I thought it would be, oops. I thought it would be quite similar to this one over here, but um, they're not, they're very different. Lumiere. So some of these have a matching lippy pencil and lippy stick. Good and plenty. I honestly think I'm going to struggle a little bit more with the lippy pencils as far as decluttering them. <laughs> because the shades are are very nicely and once you try to use them on or with different lipsticks, um, you do find out that you need quite a good range of lippy pencils. Shot clock. That one's quite nicely as well. Starship. I need to sharpen this one. I guess I use this one a lot too. Bumble. I don't think I've used this one. It looks new. And I don't know why, because the shade is quite stunning. Wow, that's really pretty. I like that shade a lot. I'm putting this one in my everyday drawer because I want to use that one. Love Bug. Now these deeper shades are, they're difficult for me because I do like very dark lips sometimes, especially during fall and winter. I love these deep shades. And that's looking like a brick red orange color. <laughs> it's quite hard to describe. Bossy. I could definitely relate sometimes here at home <laughs> with my kids. Hmm. 
that one's really nice it has a red i'm sorry a red it has a blue undertone and i really like that with the lippy sticks or in general lippy products because they make your teeth look a little bit more white over time No, this one's more like a true red. This one reminds me a lot of that color Ruby Woo from MAC. I love that lippy, but I had to declutter it in my previous declutter because it was so expired. But yeah, that one's a very similar shade to that MAC lipstick. Frenchy. And I'm going to swatch here next to them, hopefully... It shows on camera. Yeah, it's, it's showing on camera. That way I won't have to go on my other arm and do ugly swatches. That one's quite different too. I think I've used it like once or twice. Because I don't really wear that much of a bold lip. Or like a bright bold lip. And this one looks really pretty. I don't know why I don't wear it more often. Absolute Zero. Now this one, I remember using it in one of my Instagram pictures as a lip liner. And then I used it with one of the um, ColourPop lippy sticks. And it looked quite nice. It turned out red. Well, it looked red on the picture, but it's obviously very, very orange. Shishi. I think I'm saying that right, honestly. I'm saying it with so much confidence, but I, I'm not quite sure how to use it. So I'm definitely going to declutter some of these, but I'm going to keep on doing more swatches. Dial up. That one's quite bright. I know I'm not keeping this one because I don't use these colors. They make my teeth look very yellow. Be cute. Yeah, these shades I won't probably keep, like none of these purples. But I'm still swatching them for you guys. I heart this. This one, there's also a lippy stick for this one. Which I didn't keep, but I think the lippy stick, I'm sorry, the lippy pencil I, I will keep. Heart on. Yeah, I will keep that one as well. X Factor. I don't wear any purple, so I don't know why um, I've kept all of these for so long. <laughs> I know I've, I've worn them, but yeah, I don't really like them, how they look. I don't feel very good with these on. LBB. Now, these two are very similar, but this one is a tiny bit more deeper, the LBB one. This one has more purple undertones, and then this one has more... Like, I would say red undertones, pink undertones. Now this, I don't know how you pronounce that name. So I'll just put it here on the screen. I don't want to butcher that. That one's very nice. That one's going to be a keeper for sure. Okay, now we're on to the last 10. This one is called Flattered. Now that shade, Flattered and LBB are, are quite similar to be honest. This one looks a little bit more brighter and this one's just a little bit more muted. But they are very, very similar. Mamacita. <laughs> I could say so many things on that, but I won't. <laughs> oh, that one's iffy. I don't know if to keep that one or not. That one's unique. That would be very unique to my collection. I have to think on that one. As if. I've never used this one to be honest. I would like to keep it just to use in my. In my. What's it called? My water. Oh my god I forgot how you call that. My waterline but. I don't remember if you can use these. Around your eyes. I'm not sure. If you know, let me know in the comments down below, please. On ice. 
Wow, that one's pretty. This one's very similar to this other one. Oh, what was it called? The shade Mamacita. How did I forget that one? I don't know. But yeah, they're very similar and I actually think I like this one better. The On Ice shade. It's less patchy. Elari. Again, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Elari. Elari. I don't know. And again, these three shades are... They look the same. Yeah, these three are very similar. Mamacita, On Ice, and Ilari, I think. This one's quite patchy, like I said. And this one has some brown in it. And this one's a little bit more on the plum side. So I think I'd rather keep the On Ice shade. Bichette. You know, I kept the lipstick on this one. The lippy stick. And I think I'm going to keep this lip liner as well. It's very pretty. Whatchamacallit. That sounded so weird coming from my my mouth. TBH, which TBH, I've never used this one or the previous one either. Bochik. I have not used these on my lips, and to be honest, if I would, if I can use them on my eyes, I would probably just keep them. For that, especially this shade right here, I will love a an eyeliner on, in, in this shade. It's really pretty. Alt. This one again, if I could use it on my eyes, I would keep it because that's quite a pretty shade for the eyes. And like I said, I don't know if you could use them, but I mean, what would be the point of making lippy pencils and eyeliners? I don't know. So let me share what I kept. So let me go with the easy side, which is these 10 right here. I'm sorry, these 20. So I decided to keep the on ice one, of course, which was this one right here. And then I also kept the shade Bichette, which was this nice red right there, deep red. And then also I kept the shade Frenchie, which this one was, I think it was this one here. Oh no, sorry, it was, this was here. That Frenchy shade. And then I also kept this shade right here, the third one from the last, which was called Shishi. And then I kept this shade here, which is called um, I Heart This. And then the last one that I kept was the shade Hoopy. I'm sorry, I'm reading that wrong. Hoopty, that's the one that I didn't know how to pronounce. So it's this one right here. Those are the six shades that I've kept from those 20 over here. Now from the 10 on the left side, I'm going to start from the bottom up. So I kept the bottom three, which are called Overtime, Bossy, and Love Bug. Those are these three down right here. And then I kept the shade Starship, which is this one here. And then the shade Good and Plenty, which is this one here. And also the shade Control, which was that deepest um, brown shade. Now these two are quite similar, which is this one right here. The BFF2 that I'm keeping and also this one. I'm also keeping this one. I'll, I'll let you know the shade right now. But I'm keeping that shade BFF2. Then Beeper. And lastly, these four shades right here which are after the first two, I didn't, I didn't keep those two, the next ones, which are called BFF, Brink, Osis, and also the shade, let me find it, Kirby, which is this one right here, the one that was similar to that BFF too, just because I do use those quite a lot in my collection. So I am going to keep 18 and I'm going to get rid of 22, which is that it's obvious, which that is obviously more than half. Okay, now we are on to the final eight, and this one was obviously a limited edition bundle. This one was the Happily Ever After Luxe Liquid Lip Bundle. They obviously come in a pack of eight. So I'm going to swatch these as well, just because uh, I know that I used pretty much like these over here, these four, only because these look very similar in, in color to me, and I guess that's why it's not very attracting, attractive to me. So I just want to swatch and make sure that um, 
why I'm not wearing them and if I want to declutter some of these. I'm not sure if I want to declutter these. Um, I don't collect Disney stuff, but um, I just do want to know. Let me tell you the shade on this one. This one was the shade Prince Charming. This one's in the shade Beast. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I just want to swatch just to see what I'm thinking about these shades here. Now I know this is not everybody's favorite formula on on the ColourPop Lux Lippies. Oops, I don't want to get them mixed up. And then the third one is the shade Flynn. <laughs> one of my favorite characters from the Disney movies. So they're obviously swatching differently. They're not the same at all. I just, like I said, I don't reach for these four. I don't know why. Actually, these two were new. <laughs> because like I said, they look very similar um, through the glass container. But once swatched, they are quite different. And this one I have not used either. But this shade I think I liked a lot. I'm going to keep that on my on my everyday drawer just so that I can get a lot of use of that one. Especially for fall, that's, that one's going to be a very pretty shade. That one's in the shade Wonder Boy. And then the next one's in the shade Prince Philip. This one, this one I know I've used a lot. Yeah, that one's very, very pretty. Especially, I used it a lot during spring. I have not used it this summer, but for spring, I know that I used it a lot. And then the shade Prince Edward. This one again, I used it a lot. Okay. Got some more, more of that one. These swatches are not very pretty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been here for quite a while and in a very uncomfortable position <laughs> because the ring lights in front of me and I'm like reaching behind it and then this one's in the shade let me swatch it first this one I use it a lot for for fall um Phoebus I don't remember who Phoebus was do you remember because I don't <laughs> And then the last one is the shade Prince Nabin. I definitely know who Prince Nabin was. This one is again one of my favorite shades from this collection. That's why I use these for a lot because they're quite different. They're quite stunning. And this one again for fall. I love a good orange lip or a deep berry lip. So... I don't think I'm going to declutter any of these, especially these four over here, which are these four. Um, I do use these, I'm sorry, I do use these quite a lot. And then these three I have not used, so I want to put these in my everyday drawer and then I'm going to figure out if I'll keep them or not. Uh, I will update you guys in a, in a pinned comment in the description, I'm sorry, in the comment section just to in case you guys were wondering if i kept them or not and then this one i will keep because that's a very pretty pinky shade which i don't really have a lot of pink shades in my collection now i have two of these three compartment acrylics in each um i purchased these at walmart so i want to go ahead and see if these fit and one of these because I want to put this one on my everyday makeup um, desk. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to pass these over here just because, again, I want to save some space on my makeup area.
<laughs> I'm insisting on fitting these here because I don't know why these fit up here perfectly, but this one doesn't. So I want to get it to fit in there. If not, I'll just put it on this side. Let me try it here. <laughs> I'm sorry, my OCD kicks in when I do these kinds of organizing things. I think it's just a manufacturing issue. <laughs> Cause yeah, it's not fitting here either. So my plan was not going to work as I wanted it to. So yeah guys this is what I am keeping and this is what I'm going to be oops I'm sorry I keep throwing light and then this is what I'm going to be decluttering so obviously it looks quite a lot just because right now it's all here piled up together in one bin but we obviously saw that I decluttered more than half of the of the lippy pencils and half of the lippy sticks but and then these I just kept just because I do want to try try these three right here before I decide if I'm going to declutter any of these but yeah I think I did pretty good um I'm very happy with the outcome now I'm going to be happy by using um whatever I kept things that I liked things that I know I will use um especially because I'm trying to downsize overall in in my home and in my makeup um, area. I am not a minimalist at all, but doing this definitely helps me um, wear all the things that I like because I'm obviously keeping everything that is um, very attracting to me. So yeah, I'm very excited to use all of my lippy pencils and lippy sticks especially because I kept a lot of these deeper shades that are going to be very handy for my fall and winter looks anyways thank you all so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end please leave this emoji in the comment section below I am very thankful for you guys if you watched all the way to the end you are the bomb <laughs> and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe also don't forget to turn on the post notifications that way you guys won't miss any of my future videos i'm so happy to have you guys here around and i hope that you guys are well please stay safe and i'll catch you on my next one bye